This is a Felco pruner. This one happens to be the number seven. It's got the rolling handle. The number two is probably the most popular one, right? right. It's, it's the same, except it doesn't have the rolling handle. We like the rolling handle, right? I mean, yeah, they're terrific. They uh, help with uh, carpal tunnel and also developing calluses on your hands. Um, it should also be mentioned that Felco is really the originator of um, this particular design of uh, pruners. You'll see a lot of copies out there, but there's nothing like a Swiss-made Felco pruner. Although still, I like the ARS. Anyhow, so okay, we're going to show you how to replace the blades. Uh, replacement blades, you can get them on prunerswarehouse.com. They're about oh. 14 bucks a piece mm -hmm. uh, for both the, the cutting blade and the counter blade. These pruners run about 60 bucks. You can get them on Amazon. Okay, we're going to take this um, set of number sevens apart. When you um, buy a pair of these pruners, um, you're going to get what's called a key that actually comes with the, uh, the pruner itself. The key is has a, um, um, basically a hex head on it for taking the, the um, screws out of the handles. You can also use the key as a screwdriver type mechanism here. So what I'll do is I will, and sometimes it's very difficult, particularly these um, pruners are probably a good 10 years old. So getting some of these screws out is very difficult with a key, if not impossible. So that's where a screwdriver comes into play. So what happens if you lose the key? I mean, do you even need it? You really don't need this key. You know, it's a, sort of a nice thing to have. You can put it on the keychain if you need to, but it's not absolutely necessary. Okay, because I don't know where mine is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I just happened to find this one. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the locking mechanism, which is this particular piece right here. And again, you want to keep your, your parts separate and don't, don't uh, make the mistake of, you know, letting these come apart because you'll have some opportunities to figure those out later, which isn't, which might not be easy. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the main bolt assembly apart and you can see that this particular um, stamped metal piece underneath is actually where the lock, locking mechanism would actually interact with that. So that's what that piece of stamped metal is below. Okay, so there's your main nut. Here's the piece for the actual lock itself. Um, we're going to take the spring off also known as a volute spring. Um, these are actually nice springs because a lot of dirt doesn't get inside them and um, cause problems. Okay, and this is pretty, pretty easy to disassemble. You actually wiggle this thing back and forth until it releases from the three pins. Again, these, pr these pruners have not been assembled in, or disassembled rather, in more than 10 years. So there you have it. Okay, I finally got them off. Now what I would do in this instance is I would definitely clean all this area, get all the rust off the pins um, so that when I stuck a brand new pair of, of um, bla a new blade on there that it wouldn't get hung up. Um, I'd probably lubricate this area a little bit too as well. So you can see um, how difficult that was in something that is 10 years old. Something that's brand new, it's going to slide right onto those pins, no problem. Now, here's the counter blade. Um, this one, I've already loosened the screw. That just comes out nicely. And again, you can see from this screw to this screw, you don't want to start messing things up. So I, I try to keep things in an orderly fashion so they know where they actually came. So here's your counter blade and there's the handle assembly. Um, in this instance, I don't have to take the um, actual lock off to change either the counter blade or the regular blade or both for that matter. So now that Jack has this taken apart, we're gonna put it back together. If you were really doing this in real life, you'd be putting new blades on it. This thing would be all nicely cleaned up. We're just gonna put it back together using the parts that we had. And you'll see it's all laid out kind of the way it came apart. And that's important because these are a little complicated to put back together. So, Jack, where do you start here? 
Well, I think what I'm going to start is I'm going to put the um, counter blade back on. So what we're going to do here is, remember I said it's important to keep the, um, the right screws um, in their proper order. I also wanted to show you another neat thing, which is called a, um, a nut um, runner or sometimes a nut driver. These are absolutely terrific. Um, this happens to be a um, Craftsman and it's a six millimeter wrench. Um, these are way better than a screwdriver uh, for tightening and untightening. Um, screws and bolts. So um, that's that particular piece. All right, so now we're gonna put the, um, the blade on, the sharp blade. We're gonna line it with the uh, three pins here. Basically, it's just a press fit. You push it on so that there's actually no gap in between the handle and the blade. All right, the next process is to actually put the pruner together with the bolt and this bolt goes in through the back side here like so and you can see that the bolt actually has a square pattern that's been um, manufactured right into it and this part of the counter blade has a square hole in it so that that's nice in terms of it'll only go in a certain way you can kind of hear it locking in there our next thing is to put in the actual locking mechanism itself that's that plate that I was talking about and next we're going to put on the main locking nut Let's screw that on um, and the next thing we can do is we can put the spring back in here it's just a compression spring so you literally just push on it and put it into the uh, pin right there Okay, the next thing that, that we want to do is that we want to tighten up this main um, nut right here so that you get the actual proper tension of the blades. Um, you don't want it too loose so that, that you get any play when you take the handles and go back and forth like, like this. And you certainly don't want it too tight where the actual pruner will stay partially closed or closed altogether. I mean, the, the worst thing you can do, and this is a 12 millimeter wrench, is to tighten this thing up and have to force things. That's not how pruners are supposed to work. So what we'll do is we'll, I'll loosen this up a little bit and we'll see, is there any play there? Yep, still a little bit of play. Um, I'll tighten this up a little bit more. Nope, too much. So I'll back off just a little bit. Okay, so that's good. One of the things I didn't mention is lubrication. It's really important that you lubricate in between the two blades here. Um, I recommend using um, WD-40, although some people like to use grease. Grease is fine too. So um, cleaning this area in here um, and lubricating is, is very important. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the locking um, mechanism. This actually locks the main bolt into place so that um, you don't have to keep adjusting your pruner tension. And again, I like these, um, these nut drivers um, a lot better than the screwdrivers. So basically I'm gonna use that right on, on top of here and do it nice and tight. So that's completely locked everything together. The, um, the actual tension of the blade is perfect. Everything feels nice and secure. I wanted to see if the lock still works on the side here. Yes, it does. Keeps them closed. There you go. So now you're all set. You've, um, you've taken them apart. You've changed out one or both blades and you're back in business. Wow, these feel good. Yeah, they do. Perfect. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget you can subscribe to our channel. There's a little subscribe box right down there. And you can also learn more about pruners, pruning shears, sharpening them, all of that kind of stuff on our website at gardeningproductsreview.com. <sighs> Stupid, sorry. <laughs> Hi! <laughs>
The birds are talking to us. <laughs> okay, well. Have you ever run into... <laughs> 